Shall we pray? Let us bow our heads. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. As we humble ourselves, Lord, in the weakness of our flesh, in these vile bodies, Lord, but we claim that inside of us is a perfect seed, Lord God. Sa nalalapit, Lord, na pangyayari ng lahat ng bagay na hinihintay ng inyong mga anak, Satan is also doing things double time. But thank God, as we can always claim, the elect will not be deceived. Through your word, sa salita ninyo na may papangaral sa araw na ito, aming Ama, salamat, Lord, hindi kayo nagkulang sa inyong salita. Thank you, Father, for this Sunday school teaching of your word that the prophet said, it is the teaching ministry that will position the elect. That's why, Lord, we need these things. And we need the message that can turn the hearts of the children to the fathers. Hallelujah, Lord. Salamat, binigyan niyo kami ng pagkakataon, Lord, na maalaman ang isang aklat ng Biblia na puno ng hiwaga. But you've said, Lord, hallelujah. But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mysteries of God shall be finished as He has declared it to His servants, the prophets. You bless your word, Lord. This is our life. May mga bagay kaming tinatangkilik at ginagawa dito sa lupa, but these are all the peripheries of the center of our lives. And that is your word. Lord, patawad sa lahat ng mga pagkakamali ng inyong mga anak. Mga pagkukulang namin, Lord, sa kahinaan ng laman. But we believe one day, this death will be swallowed up by victory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Samahan niyo ang inyong mga anak. We want to be as close, the closest in your throne. Wash us with your blood for this morning. Lahat ng aming naisip na hindi maigi. Lahat ng nagawa ng aming mga kamay na hindi tama. Lahat na nasambit ng aming mga bibig na hindi karapat-dapat. Lord, if we are the bride of Christ, then we are redeemable. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the blood. Thank you, Lord, God, for your life. As I thank you, Father, for your grace and mercy. As we worship you in spirit and in truth. It is the Spirit, Lord, that teacheth us. Thank you, Father. Salamat, aming Ama. And as we continue, Lord, to bless your word, it is the Holy Spirit that will guide us into all truth. Maraming, maraming salamat. Thank you, Father. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, and we believe and we pray. Amen. Amen. And amen. Okay. This is the part two of Revelation chapter 12. Last time, last week, we have spoken about the dragon and the woman or the woman and the dragon, I mean. And now, for the second part, then next week, Lord willing, we will go to Revelation chapter 13. At uh, sa mga kapatid natin, no, sa mga churches, Token Life Ministries um, family, if you have your questions, you just put it in the hub for the IMKP. At uh, may pagkakataon tayo na linawi ng mga bagay na ito. I may be a weak... Um, teacher, marahil hindi ko ito maipaliwanag ng, sa isang pasadahan ng uh, maiintindihan ninyo, but the Holy Spirit will guide us into all truth. So, tulungan tayo ng ating Panginoon. Actually, it is the Spirit that teaches us. That teaches us no? Okay. May we read Revelation 12 again, if we will uh, take your stand. We may all stand.
Revelation 12, 1, And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. Tandaan nyo itong mga kapatid, itong first, first two verses, no? Because I will illustrate something later. Um, dahil ang pag-uusapan naman natin dito, yung lumabas doon sa babaeng ito, the man-child. And she, being, being with child, cried, traveling in birth, and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven, and behold, a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns, and seven crowns upon his heads. And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven, and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, for to devour her child as soon as it was born. And she brought forth a man-child. So that is our subject for this morning, part 2 of Revelation 12. No? Ang kanyang isinilang ay man-child, not a child, just like Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ and Moses, for the third time na merong lalabas sa bata na nag-aabang ang kaaway, this time it is a man-child. Who was to rule all nations with the rod of iron, and her child was caught up unto God and to His throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she had placed be prepared of God, that they should feed her there a thousand, a thousand two hundred and three score days. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angel fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels, and prevailed not, neither was there place found anymore in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil, and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out with him. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength, and the kingdom of our God, and the power of, of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto death. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you having great wrath, because he knoweth that he but a short time. And when the dragon saw that he was cast unto the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man-child. So ang sabi ng Bible, mga kapatid, itong woman na ito is persecuted and we have known last week that this woman is not the bride, this is the Orthodox Church, the Israel. That's why ang Israel, mga kapatid, is persecuted until now. Pero ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon, mga kapatid, yung pinanganak nitong Israel. No? We know this woman in Revelation 12, this certain woman is, the, is Israel. At ngayon, mga kapatid, alam natin na nahihinog na rin ang Israel at tanggapin ang gospel, ang, ang salita ng Diyos, at si Kristo kasi ang salita ng Diyos. But sabi rito, mga kapatid, na persecute yung woman na nagpalabas nitong man-child, verse 14, And to the woman were given two wings of a great eagle that she might fly into the wilderness into her place where she is nourished for a time, and times and half a time from the face of the serpent. Ang Diyos din na mag-iingat ng babaeng yan. That's why there is 144,000 sealed Jews. Verse 15, And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. And the earth helped the woman. And the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood which the dragon cast out of his mouth. And the dragon was wroth with the woman and, to, and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. So may binabanggit ang Bible, the remnant of the seed of this woman. Yun yung man-child. No? Nagalit itong dragon doon sa babae, which is Israel, pero nakipagdigma siya doon sa man-child. Alam niyo mga kapatid, hindi pwedeng pumunta sa digmaan ng isang bata. So this must be a matured man-child which keep the commandments of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. May the Lord add His blessings to His Word. Makakaupo na tayo, mga kapatid. So, we will be speaking about this thing, no? the man-child. Who is this? 
Okay. In the next slide, I would like to um, quote David, Psalm 19, verse 1. To the chief musician, a psalm of David, the heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament sheweth his handiwork. Kasi mga kapatid, kaya ko itong binuksan, ang nakita, mga kapatid, kaya sabi ko, tandaan nyo yung first two verses ng Revelation 12, there appeared a great wonder in heaven. No? At makikita natin, mga kapatid, dyan sa Revelation 12.1, all the natural lights were included, the sun, the moon, and the twelve stars. There is only one sun, there is only one moon, and of course, yung stars ay labing dalawa yan. At mga kapatid, kaya, kaya yan na uh, nakita, yan ay sign sa langit at ang sabi sa binasa natin sa Psalm 19.1 The heavens will declare the glory of God and the firmament shows the handiwork. Lahat ng mga bagay na nasa langit may ibig sabihin yan at ang Diyos ang gumawa. Bago ito mangyari sa lupa, dineclare muna ito sa langit. No? Kaya nga sabi sa quote, no? dito sa message sa Shalom, God showed it first in heaven but before He broke, broke forth on those seven seals to reveal them. That He showed miraculous, He showed it first in the heavens. That's why no wonder, ang sabi na message, <clears throat> the first Bible is Zodiac. No? So, if the first Bible is Zodiac, pag tumingin ka sa langit, may mababasa ka dyan. Then the second is the pyramid, then the third is the written Bible. Hindi sasabihin ng prophet siyan, mga kapatid, na na walang um, na, na ganun lang no? there must be something in it at makikita natin dito sa ating uh, dito sa ating binasa pinakita muna yan sa langit that day they took pictures all across southern United States and Mexico there it hangs now in the life magazine still a mystery to them But he declares it in the heavens before he does it on earth. He always does that. He shows his sign in the heavens first. And I want to show that. I'm not going back to the Zodiac sign shown in the book of the Zodiac to reveal it. The Zodiac is not only a constellation in the sky, but this is where the true Bible of the constellation of the Zodiac Defined as the Holy Sign. In the last page of the Zodiac to reveal it. Showing that Jesus would come first to the earth by a virgin. He'll come the second time as the Lion of the tribe of Judah. See? So yung mga nakikita natin between dyan mga kapatid, hindi lang yan dyan nilagay na parang nilagay lang, no? No? Kaya nga meron tayong tinatawag na constellation eh. No? Itong constellation mga kapatid, Makikita natin na um, nung nakita ito ni John. Mamaya, ipapakita ko, three years ago, may fenomeno na nangyari sa langit. Kaya nga importante itong panahon natin, mga kapatid. Because God is doing things. Minsan mga fenomenon. Pag sinabi mo fenomenon, mga unexplainable things, but nangyayari, parang paradox yan. No? Kaya nga, importante na malaman ng bride kung ano ang kondisyon na ngayon kasi hindi magsisinungaling ang Diyos. Diniklare niya muna yan sa langit. Ang tanong ngayon, nung nakita yan, mga kapatid, kung ang woman ay ang Israel, ano yung lumabas sa kanya? No? Ano yung lumabas? It is a man-child. Mawigin na lang merong message of the hour. Kasi sa, ang, ang tanong dyan, saan mo ilalagay ang bride? Kung hindi yung woman ang bride, then saan mo ilalagay ang bride? Okay, I would like to quote here. Remnant of the woman's seed. Yung remnant of the woman's seed, yan din yung man-child. Sabi niya rito, I've got several notes and scriptures written down here on this lesson tonight. Okay, mga kapatid, I want your undivided attention hanggang pagkatapos ng Bible study, okay? 
Dahil importante ito dahil dito natin malalaman mamaya sa pangangaral and you will reconnect again, dinodocument natin ang lahat ng live streaming. Pinaghihiwalay na natin talaga ang Bible study at ang pangangaral. At um, importante ang teaching ministry. Makikita natin yan kung ano itong purpose ng fivefold ministry kung saan dadalhin ang nobyo ni Kristo sa ating panahon. Remember, this message is not just to teach us things here. Itinuturo din sa atin ng mensahe mga kapatid ang dapat nating gawin kung saan tayo pupunta. Sabi niya rito sa remnant of the woman's seed, no? sa voice of the sign, I've got several notes and scriptures written down here on this lesson tonight. It's called sometimes the chosen, the elected, or the remnant of the woman's seed. Ito yun. No? Sino ro yung man-child na yan? It was called the bride. So bride yan, pero man-child. Paano nangyari yun? Kaya dito natin maintindihan, mga kapatid, itong mystery ng marriage, na kung paano si Kristo at ang nobya pag naging isa na yan, no? isang katawan na yan, Isang ulo, isang katawan. Ang sabi ng prophet, it was called the bride. Yan yung remnant of woman seed. Yan yung lumabas doon. What God, by His foreknowledge, ordained to be, that is, the bride comes out of the church. See, the whole thing is a church, but God takes a people. Out of that church, as a bride, He said He would, and He did it. Notice, and He, or He will do it. So, itong man-child na ito, alam natin ang third exodus, this is a church out of the church. Okay, we can say, a church out of the Laodicean church, that's one. But tandaan natin mga kapatid, this church is also no, a church na naproduce itong mga kapatid ng gospel na nanggaling sa Israel. Kaya nga salvation is of Israel, nanggaling ang, ang gospel sa east mga kapatid. At makikita natin kung, kung ang Israel isang araw ay tatawagin ulit pero bago yan mangyari mga kapatid, meron muna siyang ipinanganak. Kaya nga makikita natin maliit lang yan. Bakit? Kasi actually yung, 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 uh, yung gentle church ay isiningit lang sa timeline ng ating Panginoon. Kalahating linggo lang yan eh. Na natitira. Half week. Yung 69 and a half weeks are all fulfilled. What, what are we waiting now? Pag napag-usapan natin ng 70 weeks of Daniel, is just half week. Actually, mga kapatid, itong ginagawa natin ngayon is part of the half week ng 70 weeks of Daniel. When we speak about 70 weeks of Daniel, no, this is Bible teaching now. Ha? If you have question, you post it. No? Meron tayong weekly na question and answer. Huwag kayong uupo lang dyan, mga kapatid, na hindi nyo ito natin dahil pang bride lang ito. No? Pang elect ito, mga kapatid. When we understand the 70 weeks of Daniel, isiningit lang itong kalahating linggo. And this is a part of it. Because 70 weeks of Daniel is for Israel only. Hindi yan pang Gentile. The 70 weeks is for Israel. No? Isiningit tayo. No, I mean, uh, I stand to be corrected. No? After this Gentile dispensation, papasok na itong half week ng Israel. Naging part sa plano ng Diyos, I mean, itong ibig kong sabihin, naging part sa plano ng Diyos ang Gentile na isingit ito na putol yung one week. Hindi pa nangyayari yung half week. Kailan yan mangyayari? Pag bumalik ang Panginoon sa Israel. Sa 144,000. Yeah. So, wala, wala tayo sa timeline ng Diyos eh. 70 weeks of Daniel is just for Israel. So, ngayon, Gentile dispensation, naghuminto ang orasan ng Diyos. Imagine nyo mga kapatid, merong panahon na huminto ang orasan ng Diyos. Yung half week naghihintay para sa Israel. What is the half week? That is three and a half years. So, this is not the three and a half years. We don't believe that mga kapatid na, na uh, may extension yon. Okay, that is only three and a half years. Now, mga kapatid, naputol ang half week, gentle dispensation. Ididiin ko itong mga kapatid dahil may papakita ako mamaya. Mabilis lang, mabilis lang dapat ang maturity ng bride. No? 
na putol sa panahon ng ating Panginoon, then gentle dispensation, putol ang half week. This is not a part of the half week. After this, then babalik ang ating Panginoon sa Israel. Okay? This is now the gentle dispensation. Anong tawag dyan, mga kapatid? It was called the bride. What God, by His foreknowledge, ordained to be. That is, the bride comes out of the church. So, sabi mga kapatid, doon sa woman, may lumabas na church. At ang tawag dyan ay man child. Ang tawag din dyan ay remnant of the woman seed. Ang tawag din dyan ay bride. Pa, paano nangyari yun? Okay. The church out of the church. Voice of the sign. Now the type here, there is a wonderful type that we sure don't want to miss. See? Type, God was bringing Israel, His people, out of a nation. A nation out of a nation. A nation out of a nation, a beautiful type of today that God is calling His bride out of the church. Christian bride out of the Christian church, a bride church out of the church which is called in the Bible, referred to. Okay. I will wrap it up. Then I will share a, an article, mga kapatid. I, I believe, tinuro ko na ito last time, nung ito'y nangyari, but it deserves to be reviewed again. Bakit, mga kapatid? Revelation chapter 12 ito eh. Okay. Anuhin ko ulit yung timeline, okay? Hanggang sa ating Panginoong Kristo Yesus, tinapos niya yung half week, yung 70 weeks of Daniel, naputol, Gentile dispensation, hindi part ito ng 70 weeks of Daniel and Gentile, no? Naputol. Then, mga kapatid, pag natapos ang Gentile dispensation, babalik ulit ang Panginoon sa Israel para tapusin yung half week. So, this dispensation is not part of the 70 weeks of Daniel. No? This is the bright age. Iba ang dili ng ating Panginoon. Kaya nga, yung lumabas yung man child, kailan yan lumabas? Kailan nangyari itong mga kapatid, itong Revelation chapter 12, then John saw a sign in heaven. A great phenomenon that was happened na marami rin natakot kasi hindi sila handa. Akala nila magra-rapture na noong 2017 at papasok na yung half-week ulit ng, ng Israel. ba? Kasi pag nag-rapture, pasok na yung half-week. Mga ngaral ang two prophets, ipapangaral nila si Lord Jesus Christ three and a half years, that's half-week. No? Naalala ko nun, September 23, 2017, nung lalabas siyan sa kalangitan, maraming tumawag sa akin ng mga asama ko sa trabaho, mga Christians, alam nilang pastor ako, at tinatanong nila kung magra-rapture na. Sabi ko, palagay ko, hindi pa, ang dami nag-aabang. Pero may ibig sabihin yan. No? Because... Um, in September 23, 2017, so that is nearly two and a half years ago, no? sabi rito, the Revelation 12 sign prophecy is an apocalyptic belief. Can we go to that slide? That astronomical alignment on September 23, 2017, nakita nyo ba yan? Nabalitaan nyo ba yan no? sa mga nanonood po? Fulfilled the first two verses of Revelation 12. Hindi to message, ha? this is uh, Wikipedia ito. This is not a message. This is a news, no? This date coincided with the autumnal equinox at the end of Catholic September Ember Days. This theory promoted by some Christians and Christian news organizations proposed that a literal fulfillment of the prophecy made in the book Revelation 12, 1-2 occurred on this date over Jerusalem. The passage in the book of Revelation 12, 1-3 describes a woman clothed with the sun with the moon under her feet and a crown of 12 stars on her head. She was pregnant and cried out in pain as she was about to give birth. Some people believe that an astronomical alignment of involving constellation, kasi bihira lang ito mangyari mga kapatid eh, magkoconstellate, mag-aalign ang sun, ang moon, ang virgo, ang leo, ang Mercury, ang Mars, ang Venus, and Jupiter, mag-aalain lahat yan, mga kapatid. And it will draw a great picture. Kaya nga ang sabi ng prophet, mga kapatid, nagdo-drawing ang Diyos sa langit. Tandaan nyo, mga kapatid, ang, ang, uh, ang si Enoch, 
Walang Bible nun kundi ang Zodiac. And Enoch walked with God. And Enoch was raptured. Wala pang mga ganitong gawain sa panahon ni Enoch. Pero mga kapatid, hindi pa, hindi pa disturb ang alignment ng lupa sa langit nun. Kaya, kaya ang basahin ni Enoch ang langit. And Enoch can see a certain message. Some people believe that, though, sabi rito, some people believe that astrono- astronomical alignment involved in the constellations of Virgo and Leo. Imagine, Virgo, that's the birth of Jesus Christ. Then Leo is the line of Judah, that's the judgment day. The sun, the moon, and the planets, Mercury, Mars, Venus, and Jupiter that occurred in September 2017 fulfilled this prophecy word for word. The sign is also known as the woman of the apocalypse. Some of the common Christian interpretation of this passage interpret the woman as Mary or ancient Israel. So, mga kapatid, this is not a message. Ha? This is an article. Na kahit yung article, mga kapatid, they believe that that woman is Israel. Pero ang hindi rito nila nakita, no? Ito maganda. The man child as the incarnate Jesus and the child being of the body of Christ. So my point sila. This man child is Lord Jesus Christ. This man child is also a body. So sino ba ang body ni Lord Jesus Christ? Di ba? The bride. So mga kapatid, nung sinabi ng prophet itong remnant of the woman seed is the bride, hindi mali yun. And the woman's other offspring as the church that forms during the, the tribulation. Of course, dito na tayo hindi naniniwala. No? This is an article. Kasi ano to eh? Uh, ang church, ang bride, hindi pupunta sa great tribulation. Ang pupunta sa great tribulation, yung woman. Okay? Yun ang pupunta. Okay. I would like to read Ephesians 1, 3 to 4. Ang sabi rito, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who hath blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ, according as He hath chosen us in Him. So the bride is in Him. So ibig sabihin, kung tayo ay pinili sa loob ni Kristo, si Kristo at ang nobya ay isa. Hindi mo sila pwede paghiwalayin. Kaya nung sinabi ng prophet, mga kapatid, that man-child, the remnant of the woman seed is the bride, mga kapatid, that is Christ in a bride form. Ipapanganak yan eh. Kaya tandaan nyo, mga kapatid, may lalabas sa super church, ipinanganak na yan. Sabi ng isang kasama ko sa trabaho, Brother Jun, denominational Christian, magra-rapture na ba? Palagay ko, pinanganak pa lang yan. <laughs> Hindi pwede makipag-asawa si Kristo sa baby. Pero itong maganda, pinanganak na. Ibig sabihin, naghihintay na yan ang maturity. Kaya remember, from 2017 hanggang sa panahon natin, ang daming nangyari, mga kapatid. Ang daming nangyari na dapat nagpamature sa bride, hindi nagpa-depress. Hindi nagpatandang umurong. No? Kahit itong pandemic na nangyayari, dapat lumago tayo rito. Because pinakita ng ating Panginoon sa langit, pinakita niya yan sa langit, mga kapatid, 2017, ibig sabihin, dapat gising na, no? na ipanganak na. Kailangan lahat ng mensahe na rinig natin dito, nag a ng faith natin, hindi nagbabawas. In our everyday lives, kung nagkakamali man tayo, maraming beses tayo magkakamali, mga kapatid, but in hearing the word, in the progression of revelation, dapat lumalago tayo, mga kapatid, dahil may nangyari na last 2017 that God declared this revelation, chapter 12, in heaven. Next slide. This is the illustration. May drawing lang kayo makikita dyan, but look at the constellation of the moon, the Jupiter, the sun, the Virgo, the Mercury, the Mars, Venus, Leo. Yan. 
Pag makikita niyo mga kapatid yung constellation doon sa ulo ng babae, it will, it will form a crown of 12 stars. You count it, that's 12. Isama mo yung Leo na... Ma ma malalagay mo ba ng pointer yan? Yung cursor. If you will see the Leo constellation, isama mo ang Venus, Mars, at Mercury that will form a 12 stars. Itong Virgo na babae, pag samasamahin mo yan, yung sun ay naandun sa, kanyang, sa kanya, no? Naka, nasa balikat, uh, cloth with the sun, Aksidente ba na yung moon ay nasa ilalim ng kanyang paanan? This happened in September 23, 2017. Ang sabi dyan, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and upon her head a crown of 12 stars. And she being, tinan niya yung sinapupunan mga kapatid, no? 42 weeks. Ganyan ba ang birth ng isang bata? 42 weeks ba? 9 months? And I will show a video. Sana maging successful lang show natin ang video after this. And she being with child cried, traveling in birth, and pain to be delivered. Itong illustration nito, hindi aksidente na may gumagalaw doon sa part ng tiyan. Kaya, bride, two and a half years, what happened to us? Ang sabi ng prophet, yung man child na yan is the bride of Christ. Darating si Kristo ngayon in the form of the bride. Of course, merong talagang coming. But now is the appearing. Ipinakikita ni Lord Jesus Christ na may buhay siya rito sa lupa. Ipinanganak na yan. Nagsimula na yan. Literally speaking. Figuratively speaking. Okay. We will play a video. At sana ay uh, malinaw ang dinig natin at marinig ba natin dito? Okay. Okay. On September 23rd, 2017, the sun, moon, and stars will align to fulfill a 2,000-year-old prophecy. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of 12 stars. And she being with child cried, travailing in birth and pain to be delivered. And she brought forth a man-child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. Before you click off this video, I understand there's been many false predictions, false prophecies over the years. This is different. Bear with me and see. First, you need to understand that God made the sun, moon, and stars, and they all obey his order. By the word of the Lord were the heavens made, and all the host of them by the breath of his mouth. Canst thou bind the sweet influences of Pleiades, or loose the bands of Orion? Canst thou bring forth Masroth in a season? So we see here that God himself says that he moved the constellations. They obey his ordained order. There's many more verses. Please pause the video to see them. They'll also be in the description. Okay, so we have the constellation Virgo clothed with the sun. And then, as you can see here, the moon is under her feet. And above her head is the nine stars from the constellation Leo, plus the three planets that align perfectly. And to fulfill the birth prophecy, you have Jupiter that stays in the womb for nine months. Absolute precision. Another thing you must realize is this is not astrology. This is the lost knowledge of biblical astronomy. Stick with me and you'll see. Let's start at the beginning and see what God said. And let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night, and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. Jesus himself said that when he returns, there shall be signs in the sun and the moon and the stars. Think about this. If God wanted to speak to all his children across the entire earth and speak to them all at once in the same universal language, how would he do it? Look at Psalm 19. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament showeth his handiwork. Day unto day uttereth speech, and night unto night showeth knowledge. There is no speech nor language where their voice is not heard. Their line is gone out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. 
When Jesus was born, it was marked in the stars. The three wise men saw his star in the east and knew of it. What makes you think his second coming would be any different? Isn't this sign just the retelling of Jesus' birth? And didn't he say no man knows the day of the hour? We look at Revelation 1.1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave unto him, to show unto his servants things which must shortly come to pass. Revelation 1.1 shows us that the Father showed all things to Jesus when he ascended to the throne, and he showed us in the book of Revelation. Jesus himself, when he spoke to the churches, said that his believers, his followers, if they overcome and hold his words to the end, they would rule with a rod of iron. This is a very specific passage that connects Revelation 12 and a prophecy of what's going to happen for his believers. All right, so are we just cherry picking a couple verses and trying to put a prophecy behind it? Or is this found anywhere else in the Bible? I'm glad you asked. Unfortunately, we will not be able to read all these verses. Please feel free to pause and take a look at each one of these coinciding verses, which are all pieces to this grand puzzle. Well, what does it all mean? No one knows exactly. What's very interesting is the language that is used in Revelation 12, where the child is caught up unto God. The word caught up is the Greek word harpazo. It's the same word used in Thessalonians when Paul describes the rapture. We are not saying this is what's going to happen but it is certainly intriguing and worthy to be aware of. The main message is to know that this alignment has not happened in the last 2,000 years since its prophecy. While it's imperative to know that this ministry is not date setting, the facts are the facts. This alignment is set for September 23rd, 2017. Some have run the numbers and the odds of this are in the trillions. And just 33 days before September 23rd, on August 21st, a total eclipse cuts the United States in half, which is extremely rare and we feel is very prophetic. So again, to quickly recap, you have a woman clothed the sun, the moon under her feet, and a crown of 12 stars above her head who just gave birth after a nine-month pregnancy. Please know this is barely even scratching the surface of how in-depth all this is. Please visit this channel and many others, especially Scotty Clark, who has done all the research for you. A link to Scotty's channel and all other Watchmen will be available in the description box. No. Thank you. Back to PowerPoint. So, may ikli lang yan, mga kapatid, no? But it shows, makikita natin, na kahit mga unbelievers, pinag-aralan nila yan, and nakakabit talaga yan sa Bible. It is not an accident, mga kapatid, na 33 days before merong isang eclipse na nangyari na significant din yung, yung mga lugar na tinamaan. Yung naalala ko for a testimony, um, yun nga tra katrabaho ko na inaabangan yan dahil may nasyashare din ako sa kanya ng message. Binigyan ko nga siya ng libro ng Seven Church Ages. Nung araw din yun, tinawagan niya ako. At sumagot ako ng, sa cellphone. Oh, eh, hindi pa pala rapture. Nag-uusap pa tayo eh. <laughs> Sabi ko, yeah. Naglalaro nga ako eh. No? Dahil hindi yan rapture. No? Ipinakita ng ating Panginoon, pinanganak na yung man-child. Meaning, mga kapatid, that the bride, the remnant of the woman, is now starting to get mature. Sa akin lang po yan. No? Hindi naman yan literal na pinanganak na doon tayo sabay-sabay pinanganak. No. The, the whole body of Christ, the universal bride, must get its maturity now in no time. Kaya nga, makikita nyo, nung pumasok ang 2020, mga kapatid, at ang pinangaral ko nga dyan ay clear vision because that's 2020, pero after that, mga kapatid, ipinakita ng Diyos, sunod-sunod ng mga, ng mga sakuna ang nangyari sa buong mundo, not just not just um, uh, in each locality, mga kapatid. Of course, in each locality, but it, it affected the world. At mga kapatid, itong somehow parang ultimate, this is this pandemic. At hindi aksidente, mga kapatid, na ang ating Panginoon nagbigay siya ng channel for the bride to be rich in anywhere. As long as you have a strong connection, mga kapatid, hindi aksidente na nangyari yan sa panahon natin. Why? 
Because now the bride will get its maturity. Dito dati makikita ang mga kapatid na hindi na nagkulang ang ating Panginoon. Dito sa sabi niya mga kapatid, dito sa it is the rising of the sun. And as he being the groom, the bride has to come forth because it's part of him. No, that explains why the man child is the bride. Because the bride is the part of him. And it can only be the manifestation of the fulfilling of all revelations any others have spoke of the bride. It can only manifest if it does something different from the groom. If it isn't the bride because she is flesh of his flesh and bone of his bo- bone, life of his life, power of his power. Sa panahong ito mga kapatid, as God has shown in heavens, the Christ, the head, and the body are one. Sabi niya ito, she is him. As woman and woman are one, and woman taken from his side, she had taken a spirit, the feminine spirit from him, the flesh from his side made both mechanics and dynamics the wife. The spirit of him and the flesh of him and put it together and made mechanics and dynamics. No? So, well, ano ibig sabihin ng dynamics, mga kapatid? There is something that is moving. Anong ibig sabihin ng mechanics? Lahat ng ingredients nandiyan na. Ano magpapamove ng ingredients, mga kapatid? It is the dynamics, the Holy Spirit. While the bride is preparing for the mechanics, then our Lord Jesus Christ is the dynamics. Isa lang yan, mga kapatid. No? Kaya nga pinakita yan sa langit, nagsimula na yan. Then the bride is now is on its way to perfection. Two and a half years na nangyari, ang tanong ko ngayon, mga kapatid, sa... Sa part ng body, lahat po nang nanonood, kumusta tayo ngayon? Ito bang pandemic, naging matured ba tayo rito o lalo tayong umurong? It must not be. Lagi kong in-stress yan mga kapatid, hindi ibibigay ng ating Panginoon ng message ng walang dahilan. Hindi niya ibinigay ito mga kapatid at isinulat sa langit last September 23, 2017 ng walang dahilan. It is for our awareness that she is Him. Hindi wrong grammar yan mga kapatid. Ay, wrong grammar na naman ng prophet, she is him daw. Paano naging she and him? Yan ang mapapaliwanag. Paano naging man-child, yung remnant ng woman seed? Paano yung, yung man naging bride? Because she is him. That explains it. Last slide. It is the rising of the sun. As Christ was the first one to raise from all the prophets and so forth, although type in many places, he was the first fruits of those that slept, in the bride coming of Christ. So may binabanggit na bride coming of Christ. Anong ibig sabihin ito mga kapatid? Merong coming of Christ na ang gagamitin ay ang bride. And that is now. He is here. Why? She is Him. Only believe. Church, we must only believe. Kaya nga lahat ng, ano, alam niyo mga kapatid, sabihin mo nga kung bride ka, kahit ibulong mo lang sa sarili mo, bride ka ba? Are you the bride of Christ? Sige, pwede mong isigaw, pwede mong ibulong. Okay, thank you for your answer, kahit hindi ko narinig. If you are the bride of Christ, at mga kapatid, nadidelay ka sa maturity, lahat gagawin na ng ating Panginoon ngayon sa iyo para ka mag-mature. Mukhang hindi maganda, but that is for your maturity. If you are the part of this body. Why? Hindi tayo hihintay ng message, mga kapatid. We must move with this message. At mga kapatid, somehow pinakita ni Lord, andyan na yan. Dapat may nangyari na ng 2017 na nagsimula. Kasi pinanganak eh. No? At tandaan nyo, pag pinanganak yan, lagi nakaabang yung kaaway. Kaya dito yung warfare. Kaya may warfare. No? Kaya may mga pagsubok tayo. Kaya may mga trials tayo. Hindi para tayo pahirapan. Because always Satan is after that life. Because the remnant of the seed, the man-child, is the bride of Christ. In the bride coming of Christ, coming out of the church, 
There will have to be a shift wave again in the last days. Oh my! Itong huling araw, mga kapatid, may iwawagayway na buhay ang Diyos. Kaya, this might be a hard saying. No? Hindi pa parag ang Diyos na dadalhin ng bride ang buhay na yan nang hindi maganda. The bride must be a good testimony. No, hindi pa parag ang Diyos. Kasi iwawagayway yan. Ibirin mo kung katitisuran ka, iwawagayway ka ba? He is here through the bride. Ipinakita na yan sa langit three, uh, two and a half years ago. Hmm. Almost three years ago. No? So that concludes Revelation chapter 12. We know the woman that is Israel. We know the dragon that is Satan, the imperial Rome. It's also a religion. We know the man-child that is Lord Jesus Christ in the bride form. And that is the bride of Christ. Pinanganak na yan? Yes. And now, pag pinanganak na yan, papakasalan niya na yan, aasawahin niya na yan, and it is going now unto maturity. It's now ongoing to perfection. Amen. And after this prayer, we will take a break. Gawin niyo na lahat ang gawin, gagawin ninyo if you want to use the CR. No? Nasa live streaming pa rin tayo. And we are praying, mga kapatid, na inject na natin sa susunod. Kung ganito pa rin tayo, ang worship, ang kantahan. No? You reconnect again for the preaching of the word. Pero bago yan, we will pray. No? May nagdiriwan ng kaarawan ngayon si Brother Peter Talabong. Happy birthday, brother. No? And uh, baka hindi na natin mabati ang part ng team bukas na silang mag-asawa ay nandito. No? Si Brother Nat saka Sister Sab in their first wedding anniversary tomorrow. So, God bless your union. mag enjoy na kami dito ng handa nila mamaya. Yan ang alam ko. No? Yeah. Parang ang bilis ng panahon na last year ay naikasal kayo at ngayon ay isang taon na kayo. No? Salamat sa ating Panginoon. And uh, once again, after the prayer, we will pray and we will break. Mawawala yung live streaming for the preparation for another documentation of the preaching of the word. Then you reconnect again. And we will pray for all the signal na maging malakas at umabot hanggang sa matapos ang gawain. Shall we bow our heads? Thank you, Father, for your word. And thank you, Lord, for your grace and mercy. Salamat, aming Ama, as you have taught us your word. The mystery is revealed in our age. Salamat, hindi kayo nagkulang. Salamat, Lord, as we thank you, Father, as we thank your grace to us. Now it is the bride, the Christ in the bride form, going on to perfection going on to maturity, going on to adoption, Lord, help us through your word. Maraming maraming salamat po. Pinupuri ka namin sa iyong kabutihan sa pangalan ng aming Panginoong Kristo Yesus. Amen. 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 Reconnect after, I think, 10 minutes. God bless everyone.